Do you want to know how to complete the player of the month program the absolute fastest? Yeah! Well then look no further because the video that you need is here and now. I, JC from Fitness Gamers, I'm going to present to you all how to get the 99 player of the month Matt Chapman lightning card the absolute fastest. So, let's go ahead and kick this off right away. First thing you wanna, you're gonna wanna do is go to programs in the program tab, go to other programs, go to April's Tops now. Make sure you complete every moment from week one to week five. I'll explain why later. Well, you know, I'll explain why now. Because you're gonna wanna get the XP from these missions. Once you get these XPs and you get all the players, there's gonna be eight players that you could use here and collect them here. It says optional, but it makes the process a lot faster. Once you're done with, so we'll backside that. But complete every moment for the April Tops now. Then you're gonna wanna go to the monthly awards program and you're gonna wanna complete all the moments here as well. It's gonna give you 36 program stars. 36 program stars is gonna give you Mark Pryor, captain, a player of the month. Uh, Carlos Santana, player of the month. 95 overall, 95 overall, 95, and another 95. So you're gonna get one, one, two, three, four, five, six player of the month cards already. And that's gonna be needed for your missions here. That's gonna be needed for your player missions as well. So, what do you do next once you completed all of the moments? You're gonna play events because the events for every win you get, you get a program star in events, says it right here, and it's repeatable. So you get a program star for every win that you get. What do you do? Well, online game mode, hit events, play the event. You're gonna get rewarded too. You're gonna get tons of great cards. You're gonna get some flashback cards for just 90, uh, for five wins. It's absolutely worth it so what do you do now the next step is make sure any player of the month card you have put them in your lineup and if you want to be able to find them a lot easier just go here hit filters go to series and put player of the month or monthly awards boom they're gonna pop up there secondly if you want to get your tops now players then you put tops now and they're gonna pop up here so once you know how to do this, put all your player of the month to play. The other positions, put the tops now players. But this is the trick. This is the part where people may not, where they may get confused. You're gonna wanna do missions, right? You're gonna wanna get XP from players from certain weeks. I advise you to start with week one and then work your way to week two. Know who the week one players are. How do you find out who the players are? You go to the moments, remember the name, CJ Crone, Corey Jokes, Kyle Lewis, Stephen Kwan, Mitch Garver, Adam Duvall, Jeffrey Springs, Kodai Senga. So that's how you know the players. Look at week two, Bryce Terang, et cetera, et cetera. You know the players I'm talking about. And if you don't know if they're a pitcher or not, just look at the missions. If it says strikeout batters, pitch two innings, if it says any of those things, they're gonna be a pitcher. Uh, the, Pitchers, they go, they go a lot faster, actually. About two and a half starts, and you get the pitchers done. With the hitters, the reason why you want to play events is because you get double the XP. So that is why you want to do that. Um, I get the hitters. I got them in like two to three games max. For all of them, it's just two to three games. If you have a game where a guy hits two home runs, it might be done there. So that is the easy part of this. That's what you want to do. Now, what makes this so easy now is where you play. You're going to want to go to events. And when you play, it's the stadium that you're playing in. And of course, as you complete the week one missions for the players from week one, then you go to week two, week three, week four, week five. Once you're done with them all, you're going to be able to lock them in here at the Tops Now collection. And they're all no sells anyway, so you might as well do it. So I don't really know why it's you know, it says optional if you don't have to, but it's actually better for your buck, so to speak. So where are you playing at is the biggest key factor here where are you going to play at events obviously i said that there's a certain stadium you want to play in i'm going to show you all how to find it it is the pxp stadium it is pxp absolute beautiful stadium everything you hit goes out put a little montage here so you can see everything you hit goes out of the park guaranteed guaranteed and that is why i like playing in this stadium so uh, yeah, th this is this is this is what's the purpose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna show you how you can find this stadium. So you're gonna go to the main menu. You're gonna go to the little brush up there where it says create. You're gonna hit that. You're gonna go to Stadium Creator. Once you're in Stadium Creator, just waiting for it to load up. You're gonna go down, go down again, keep going down to it says the vault, and you're gonna search up a stadium. You're gonna hit the search thing. You're gonna go to find, and you're gonna put P X P. Hit R2 for done, Xbox, whatever button is at the top right. Competitive safe, make sure it's competitive safe. Hit search, 
and all of these that pop up are absolutely perfect 100% you can use all these I just you know this is similar to the one that I have I look at the elevation for most of them over 5,000 feet um, that's exactly why it's you know that, that's exactly why you use this for player XP's you're gonna hit non-stop home runs as you see in my montage here it's just non-stop home runs after non-stop home runs after non-stop home runs. So that's exactly why you uh, you want to do this. So this is the absolute fastest way to get the Matt Chapman Player of the Month. It took me about, honestly, like, took me 20 event games and I lost like four, give or take. So it took me 20 event games and I lost four. So that's what it takes. Give it, that's what it is, really. I mean, it doesn't take too long. Uh, probably took me about four hours on on Friday night and then about four to five four hours again four to five on Saturday and it was enjoyable I was getting you know my, my player XP's uh, I, was, I was getting you know rewarded I, I made about 70,000 stubs as well so we're gonna make tons of stubs doing this method tons of stuff doing this method uh, this is the best method possible tons of stubs and tons of XP so you want XP you want free diamonds this is what you have to do so JC here today for fitness gamers this is the part where I am logging now. Remember, this is the part where I say to all of you, God bless you all. Remember that God is good, God is real, and miracles do happen. I am a living proof of those miracles. Remember that he is roaring and alive like a lion. On top of that, remember Hulk Hogan's mantra of say your prayers and eat your vitamins, brothers and sisters. And John Cena's mantra of never give up. And you too can be successful someday in whatever it is that you desire to be. Thank you all for tuning in so much. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ass. Goodbye, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And good night, JC from Fitness Gamers. And this is the part where we're logging out, baby. Cue the static, please.